The most beautiful news ever came in the form of the Mythosaur yesterday in episode 2 of season 3 of The Mandalorian. In fact, if you want to go even deeper, episode 1 was a clear-cut sign of Din Djarin's future. His future with Grogu, how he is proceeding to teach Grogu everything, and what happened in episode 2, especially the ending where we now realize that the living waters, you know, those waters that Bo-Katan mocked previously, now she realizes there's a Mythosaur living in there, that they have a great significance. This is not a joke. The children of the Watch, even from Concordia, have realized something about those waters that Bo-Katan and her ruling family have never up until now. This is very interesting because Din Djarin only knew one specific Mandalorian creed throughout all of his life. Only now is he starting to realize that there are other Mandalorians like Bo-Katan out there that believe in a more liberal sensible creed of Mandalore. For example, they can remove their helmets freely. He was baffled by this back when bo and the Night Owls did that in Season 2. So in this video, I want to explain why definitely Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau are priming Din Djarin to be the next Mandalore, the definite Mandalore. And it has to do not only with the Darksaber, because we've all been focused on the Darksaber, there is another element that Episode 2 presented, and my friends, that is the Mythosaur. I'm going to explain to you why that plaque shows you why, in the end, Din Djarin could become the one, the only, the Mandalore. The unifier and leader of the Mandalorian people, which, as you can see by Bo-Katan, it is completely in disarray. Briefly mentioning the Darksaber, you can see that back in at the end of Season 2, Din Djarin won the Darksaber from Moff Gideon, but the important aspect to understand here is that he does not have an idea of its significance. To him, it is just a sword nothing more. How much will that play a role into people following him? I still don't know. But it's very telling that in episode one, when Din Djarin visited bo a depressed bo at that, she insinuated or suggested that he could become the leader of the Mandalorians. She made a joke out of it, of course, but even so, that idea has been pondered in her head. Because she said it with a bit of irony, I believe that she doesn't believe in her true heart that Din is up to the challenge, especially when we see that yesterday Din still has a lot of trouble wielding the Darksaber. He could barely defeat the Elamites, while bo not only defeated the Elamites, she defeated the Mecha Droid with complete ease. She didn't even break a sweat. That's bo biggest problem, her belief in the Mandalorians is all but gone. Even her crew has abandoned her. But I think that everything changed the moment bo realized that the Mythosaur that she saw down there grabbed Din Djarin, pulled him down, and the Mythosaur proceeded to not chase them, not eat them, or anything. He let them live. I think bo understands the meaning of this, and I think it's time for you guys to also, because I realized at that moment the significance of the plaque that was read by bo and what happened afterwards. You see, Din Djarin was completing the ritual of being redeemed for his sins and therefore ultimately going back to the armor and professing that he has been cleansed so that he could join back the children of the watch. As he is cleansing himself in the waters, something tugs him down. Once bo finds him beneath the waters, he is not harmed at all. He was just tugged down by something. We realize that that was the Mythosaur. The big grand question now remains why the Mythosaur didn't just eat Din Djarin. The answer might my guys is pretty simple because Din Djarin is the Mandalore. Din Djarin is the next Mandalore. He has been officially chosen by the Mythosaur himself. This is what brings us to the plaque that was read by bo -Katan. You see, in that plaque, we don't just understand the first Mandalore Vizsla and how he obtained this title. 
it wasn't just the dark saber it is the taming and riding of the great mythosaur these things go hand in hand and i think what these guys will realize is that this is why the mandalorian people were ultimately failing constantly they just focused on the dark saber i think that it is a duo i think that two of these things need to be realized in combination he has to win the dark saber in battle and then we tame the same species of mythosaur that Vizsla once upon a time rode for himself. Just imagine the image of Din Djarin riding the mythosaur on his back with the Darksaber ignited, ready to become the sole ruler of all the Mandalorians, the unifier as everybody wants him to be. This is why essentially Bo-Katan was left speechless at the end of episode 2 she realized something. Not only that there's a mythosaur left alive still in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore, but that the mythosaur made a choice at that moment. While she thought that Din Djarin's life was at risk, once she grabbed Din Djarin and she passed around the mythosaur, who did not attack them in the slightest, she must have realized the reason, the real reason why the Mythosaur did not attack them. He was so gigantic, in fact, that he could have swallowed them like bugs, but he didn't. The Mythosaur let them live. He didn't seem that menacing almost at all, kinda. It's simply because he has chosen Din Djarin to be Mandalore. He has deemed him to be worthy. It could be his definitive cause to cleanse himself of his sins that he has removed his helmet. His heart is so devoted and pure to the Mandalorian cause that the Mythosaur might have felt something in this person that has entered the waters of Mandalore, that has entered the, the living waters in such a long, long time. You must realize that even back in the day when Mandalore was fine and dandy, you can see by bo reaction that she and most of her family through generations thought that the living waters were just myth. They were nothing more than just a spectacle, a large pool of water. Only now does she realize their grand, grand mistake. They regarded it as such a nothing that they didn't even go to explore and find that there's a mythosaur still living in their midst. So in conclusion, that is why the mythosaur let Din live. It's not because the mythosaur wished him harm, it's because he was the new chosen one, the chosen one to become Mandalore. He already has the Darksaber, now he needs to tame the Mythosaur, and the story of the Mandalore, of the new Mandalore, will be complete in my opinion. Where bo fits in this, I have some ideas, but we'll talk about it later. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.